Hello, everyone. My name is Lana Trusi. I am the Director of Communications and Operations for Sports Biz Cares and a member of our fellowship. Today, I'm here with Brandon Cullen, co-founder and chief con concept officer of Metabolic, and we're going to take a deep dive into what the Sports Biz Cares missions means to him and his organization. For those that don't know, the mission of Sports Biz Cares is to increase social mobility for high school and college students through education while expanding diversity within the sports industry. Hi, Brandon. Thank you so much for being here uh, and all of your support as an individual and a business partner. I want to say on behalf of Sports Biz Cares that we are grateful for your involvement and I'm excited for our conversation today. How are you doing? I'm great. Uh, we love the organization and are happy to do it. So excited to um, contribute in any way possible. <clears throat> well, thank you so much. So how did you first hear about Sports Biz Cares and, you know, kind of pique that interest? Well, uh, uh, me and my business partner, <clears throat> some uh, another lifetime ago, let's say that uh, we did play uh, professional hockey in the minor leagues and um, Jeff Longo was our team's president. So <clears throat> it's kind of one of those things that when you leave the game, you stay connected to a certain amount of people. Um, and he was someone that um, I just kind of followed his career. Uh, he, he bounced around and, and, and did a lot of great things. So I can't remember if we ran into each other at a mutual um, fundraising benefit. I believe it was a, uh, was a cancer a benefit uh, for pediatric cancer. <clears throat> Two mutual friends, we hadn't seen each other in about five years. So we caught up, uh, funny enough, over a beer. And um, he explained to me what he was uh, hoping to achieve with this. And uh, sports, uh, just in general, did so much for my own life that uh, I thought it was a, a natural thing to be a part of. That's awesome, yep. Uh, good old Jeff Longo, one of the co-founders of Sports Biz Cares. Um, he was actually my professor throughout Johnson Oils University. And immediately I just was inspired by him and was like, teach me everything. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was interesting because he was at such a high level um, being the president of the Charlotte Checkers, where at that point in your life as a young 20 year old, he's almost like an unreachable or untouchable person, but he's, he's one of the most down to earth guys that I, <laughs> that I know now. So it's, it's kind of funny how, you know, 10, 10, 15 years after the fact, how it all came together. Right. So why do you or your organization support the mission? Um, I'll be honest, uh, I've seen the game, I, I'm sorry, I'm talking about hockey here, but sports in general have given um, people a way out or something to strive towards or given them certain connections in the world they may not have had in the past. <clears throat> One of the things, um, I didn't come from a past that I struggled and I had a family that did very well. Um, I was in a, I was in a family of entrepreneurs, I guess you would say my, my family was in the car business. So it's not that I grew up in a place of misfortune or I lacked social uh, mobility. Um, I had all those things built into my, my life, <clears throat> but it wasn't till getting to an older age and seeing that, seeing what opportunity actually meant. Um, and I met a lot of players in the game that the way they succeeded in life or the way they got out or the opportunity that was given to them was through sports. Um, e even to this day, uh, even the way we run our business, we relate a lot to the team atmosphere of sports and that connection. So <clears throat> there was just a lot of things that, that made sense. And, and seeing uh, some of these young hungry kids um, taking these steps early was was pretty mind-blowing to think of you know it's, sometimes you actually look back at yourself and you're like man when I was 15 I really didn't have it together <laughs> like like these like these kids do so you know I, I you know not to make any blanket statements or anything but they're making some amazing strides with less opportunity than I had so 
it, it's just a very, it's a very easy thing to be passionate about. Um, so that's, you know, in short, it wasn't hard to make sense. It, it was very natural to make sense. Right. Definitely. I, um, I'm involved with a lot of the students and kind of, you know, hearing their feedback and just learning more about their stories. And as you said, these, these kids are miles ahead of me. And I'm like, man, I got to catch up to these kids. And it's just awesome to see, you know, them finding their passion so early on and being able to take the next steps in their lives and really set themselves up for success. Yeah. The other thing that really uh, kind of blew me away that I, that I love about, um, pre- predominantly, I, I, I dealt with Patrick and Jeff the most as we were going through this process. But I like the the very brutal, honest, um, but also um, gentle approach they take that your sport will end. You know, and unfortunately, like even even in in my upbringing, you, the sport was the thing. There was not a lot of thought of what was coming after. Um, even in my my own personal career, I was healthy one day and had a career career ending injury the next day, and that was it. You know, I wasn't set up. Um, I didn't have a college background. Um, pretty much all I had was my connections through the game of hockey that allowed me to then um, try some things. But I, I really love the approach. Um, that they, they, they get it out of the, they get it out early, Mm -hmm. your, your career, your season, your time in sports will end. What are you going to do next? And I, I can't stress how important that is. Um, I even have a lot of really close friends that once their career ended, they were lost for a little bit. Right. And it's tough to see people that um, were in the spotlight for many years, that when that spotlight fades, um, it's, it's a tough thing to pivot from. So I, I love, um, and, and I say Jeff and Patrick's approach uh, as, as the whole group, just because that's who I interacted with most throughout this. Right, no, definitely. Um, I've been playing soccer for 14 years and you know, I just graduated uh, earlier in uh, February and that whole identity of being an athlete and being a soccer player and transitioning into a former athlete where I can't go pick up a ball and really play with my whole team and like play on game day anymore. That's that's really hard. That's a transition that I think a lot of athletes don't really um, think about a lot or you know, they kind of underestimate it, like, oh, I'll always, you know, be able to go work out or do this, but it's just a different intensity, like, it's a different, different transition to get through, and I'm, uh, I really hope that, you know, sports biz camp somehow um, catches the eyes uh, of some of these uh, amateur organizations, because, because I think there is room to start to educate young athletes, even before a camp, you know, I think that process, what they're teaching is so valuable right now. That process could be instituted at the high school level. <clears throat> um, even, um, I mean, when we were in uh, the minor leagues or, or amateurs, I'm not, I'm not sure if we would have taken it serious, but I mean, to have that outlet um, would have been really nice to start to kind of plant the seed that this will end. Um, and what, you know, how are you preparing yourself for that next step in life? It, it would be a, it'd be a great thing if it was able to drip into a lot of, a lot of other parts um, right. of growing up. Right. So how does this connect to other work or initiatives um, that you or your organization is involved with? Um, to be honest, this is a hyper, a hyper local um, passion. So my partner, uh, Kirk DeWall, um, was also a hockey player. And then um, one of our newer partners, um, so our general manager, her name's Finley Funston. <clears throat> um, she played a uh, high level, well, division one field hockey for Davidson. And that's where she met her husband, Landon Funston, who also played football for Davidson. I believe he was a tight end, but I don't want to misquote them. But, but again, both of them 
strongly believe that <clears throat> sports and athletics got them to an amazing school that also then drove them into amazing careers. Um, so I would like to see where sports biz camps grows as a whole, because I think there is a opportunity for our um, franchising business. So Metabolic, we have our two corporate stores here in Charlotte, but we're also expanding nationally where we have, <clears throat> we have a lot of um, opportunity in the pipeline. And if this starts to get into other markets, I think I would love to make this a bigger part of the Metabolic brand. But now that we are in Charlotte, this is where our home is. This is where our families are. This is where our roots are. As much as we can do on the local level, um, the four of us, Kirk, um, Finley, Landon, and myself, I uh, just love the cause as a whole. Well, that's awesome. Um, you know, sports biz is kind of the same thing. We started in Charlotte just because that's where, you know, the co-founders are really from. from. And then we're looking to expand as much as possible. Um, so how have uh, you or your organization been positively impacted by your involvement? Oh, this, this can sound uh, like cheesy, I guess, but for me, it was the stories of the, of the kids or of the students. I'm saying kids like uh, of the students. Um, hearing their passion, um, their backgrounds, <clears throat> talking with uh, Patrick and Jeff behind the scenes of some of the true backgrounds of these um, students. <clears throat> I mean, that alone, I think, uh, was enough <laughs> for me. Um, again, I did not grow up in any place of struggle. Um, I, I was taught to work hard. I was taught to earn uh, what, you know, what you wanted. But I was never in a place where I felt that I was in trouble. You know, and I feel like half of, oh, I feel like every story I heard, <clears throat> some of these people didn't grow up with that luxury. And, you know, you... you you only know what you know. And I grew up in a, in a life of privilege would be the easiest way to um, say it. And I didn't know any better. Um, but, but, but now I'm an adult, you know, my eyes are a lot more wide open to this uh, crazy world, 2020, especially. Uh, so again, like if we can leverage things that are that we know, like that, that's the thing is we know sports, we know what it has done for us. And the fact that there is now a very um, strategic and tangible cause where we can give back, again, it's just, it's, it's a really, uh, it's a cool thing. Right. I mean, I think I've said this before in a couple of other interviews I've done, but once I feel that once people really learn about sports biz cares and what we're trying to accomplish as a team I feel like it's very hard for people to say no or walk away like it's just a, a no-brainer that there's a way to help and you can do it <laughs> yeah and I'm a the other thing too is I'm a, I'm personally a big believer in something you can make a very direct impact on so an individual's life um, I mean, I can't remember the number of students we sent this summer with the collective um, sponsorship. Do you know that number by any chance? Uh, this past summer, we helped over 700 students. Yeah, like that's insane. So, you know, to use an example of donating a specific amount of money to a fund or a cause that you have no tie to. <clears throat> I'm not saying it's a bad thing, um, but we like I know that our contribution um, affected 700 people's lives, and that that could honestly for us that could be seven people's lives. But the fact that we know that this went to a group, a person, an individual, and it has potentially helped them, you know, it's like creating like ripple effects. That if you can just help a little 
group of people, hopefully that kind of spreads out into this, <clears throat> into this world or into your community. So um, yeah, yeah. I know I went on a little bit of a tangent there, but I love this hyper local making a direct impact on a specific individual. I think that's very important. Definitely. So what do you want people to know about our mission or of your support for Sports Biz Cares? Um, I mean, our partnership, uh, me, Kirk, Finley, and Landon, we're not looking for anything, uh, to be honest. Uh, but I do, I, I hope, I hope we can get this in front of more people. I mean, I mean so that's why we're here. So, so if, if our reach helps, um, sports biz that's what we're here for <clears throat> we're not looking for recognition like i said the uh, the, the stories it's of these uh, uh students and the potential that they may have past this is good enough for us um, we believe in the founders we believe in the cause so all in all um we just want to see it succeed well thank you so much brandon that's all the time that we have for today um, I hope everyone who is listening enjoyed it as much as I did. And again, Brandon and Metabolic, just thank you so much for all of your continued support, everything that you've done for us. You know, we wouldn't be able to do all the all of the camps and help all of the students uh, without your support. Everyone, please be safe. Uh, if you're interested in getting involved uh, and trying to, you know, learn more about Sports Business Cares, uh, visit sportsbizcamps.com or email info at sportsbizcamps.com to learn how you can help and make a difference. Brandon, again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your time and everything that you do for us. Thank you.